So M, capital M, the molar mass, is the only N now in this equation. You're given everything, and you just plug in the number with the correct unit. This is the answer you're supposed to get, 48.83 mole. Do this calculation of the class. Make sure you get the answer. Okay. And uh, so this is the question. We're using PV equals an RD using the density. We can actually figure out uh, how many grams of uh, the molar mass of the compound. And this is very much similar to what we did in the laboratory yesterday. Okay. We know the mass, we know the volume, we know the temperature and pressure. We can calculate the molar mass. Okay. And uh, another type of question there, we can ask you here, that if you try to inflate the balloon with helium, and um, the volume of the balloon is five, five liter, the pressure 836, a little bit over one ATM, 836 millimeter mercury, 25 degrees Celsius. How many grams of helium do we need in order to inflate that balloon to this particular specification? Well, in this case, once again, we have mass, we have volume. So in this case, we're gonna use the density equation, okay? So in this case, we have uh, mass, over volume, 5.00 liter, equals to the pressure. Helium is four gram per mole. So you can figure out the math. them into the correct unit. So every time when the gas constant R is involved, pressure has to be an ATM. So you gotta do that conversion before you plug it into this equation. Okay. So when you set up the equation like this, you can clearly see, well, that's the only end now. Everything else is given directly or indirectly. You just need to convert them into the correct uh, units there. And then doing the calculation, you will end up with three sig fig, 0 0.900 gram. Do this calculation. Make sure you get this answer. It's very important. We need you to be able to do this calculation. The original, uh, the exam number two was originally scheduled for tomorrow. And look at all these different types of calculations. I figured I'll give you a weekend to study for the second exam. So the second exam is going to be next Tuesday. You will see this, this kind of calculations um, when you take the second exam. So that, very important. You know how to set up the equation. You know what's the correct unit to use. And uh, then the rest of it is, if you, if you know those two things, the rest of it is easy. Another chemist try problem. We're never um, tired of uh, trying different, type, uh, different types of uh, um, questions here. The d density of an unknown gas is 5.02 gram per liter, 15 degrees Celsius, 745 millimeters mercury. Calculate the molar mass. Very much similar to the previous, uh, not the, uh, not this one, not the helium, uh, uh, not the helium uh, uh, question there, but the one prior to that. So in this case, again, we have 5.02 gram per liter, okay? So when you have the units there, it's 5.02 gram per liter. So that's how we write the density, 5.02 gram per liter equals to PMRT. Well, M in this case is the unknown. We don't know what the M is. So that's what we're trying to figure out. The pressure is, instead of 7 point, uh, 836, the pressure is 745 millimeter mercury. And you can't use 745, you have to convert it into ATM. The temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. Well, you can't use 15 degrees Celsius, you have to convert it into Kelvin. And uh, plug in the right number with the right unit, um, you end up with the answer. Somewhere around 121 more small. Do this calculation after class. Make sure this is the answer that you get. And again, the two key things that you need to um, identify is that the correct unit, the correct equation. Once you know uh, what to use, which equation to use, what are the correct units to use, and the rest of it, the rest of it is easy. And then you just plug in the number and you calculator will uh, do the calculation for you. Okay, so that's another type of question.
So these are the type of questions that we have we talked about how to determine volume, how to determine temperature, how to determine number of moles, how to determine the uh, molar mass, okay, how to figure out density. Okay. And another type of question really is that ultimately when we study the gas wall, when we enter when we try to understand the behavior of gases there, we want to be able to use the gas wall to deal with stoichiometry problems. Because in reality and in, in, in different uh, in chemical industry there and you are actually conducting a lot of reactions under uh, gas state so in this case and this is how ammonia gas is synthesized in industry you mix hydrogen gas with nitrogen gas under a particular temperature and pressure ammonia gas is um, is, um, uh, is formed here so in this case and um, when we give you the balanced chemical reaction equation, we can also specify if you have 355 liter of hydrogen gas at 25 degrees Celsius, 542 millimeter mercury, mix them together with excess nitrogen gas. Well, you will love, and we can tell you about this, when you do stoichiometry there, you will love the word excess. Well, there's a practical reason why we put nitrogen in excess. Because hydrogen is much more expensive than nitrogen. 78% of air is nitrogen. So it doesn't really take much effort to separate nitrogen from the mixture of air. So nitrogen is much, much cheaper than hydrogen. Sometimes hydrogen gas, you may have to produce hydrogen gas through another chemical reaction. So obviously that's gonna be more expensive. If you're running a chemical plant making ammonia, you wanna make sure of whatever amount of hydrogen gas you get, you wanna use them up completely so that the hydrogen gas do not go to the waste. So here, 355 liter of hydrogen gas, 25 degrees Celsius, 542 millimeter mercury, mix them with excess amount of nitrogen gas. How many moles of ammonia can you get? So this is a gas law problem and a stoichiometry problem, molar ratio problem. So you have to figure out 355 liter of hydrogen gas is equivalent to how many moles. Okay. There are different ways to do this question though. If you use PV equals NRT, N equals to PV over RT. So pressure and volume is given, R is a given constant, temperature is given, and so you can figure out the number of moles. And if you figure out the number of moles of hydrogen there, every mole, every three moles of hydrogen gas will give you two moles of ammonia. So that two to three molar ratio is the conversion factor to convert the number, number of moles of hydrogen gas into the number of moles of ammonia. So in this case, and if you're going to do this calculation here, the first thing that we need to set out, uh, we need to figure out, is how many moles of hydrogen gas that we have. Okay. So using PV equals to nRT, n equals to PV over RT. So we have the pressure is uh, 542, 355 liter, okay, and 0.08206 times temperature 25 degrees Celsius. So that will give you the number of moles, right? Nope. No, of course not. Calvin, ATM. Okay. That will give you a number of moles, right? Yeah, so you have to figure out, and the number of moles of hydrogen gas will be 10.35, and if you plug in the right number with the right unit, uh, this is the answer you're gonna get. So 355 liter of hydrogen gas under this particular condition is equivalent.